Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today we're going to be building the San Diego Trolley Siemens SD100 light rail vehicle here. And this is two cars connected over an articulated truck in the center. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start off on the very front, on the bottom middle, and we're going to take Dark Oak Penske. And we're going to put a line of five Dark Oak Vents gates sideways right up the center. Once you have five, we're going to skip one block back from it. And we're going to put a set of netherite wheels with an N-Rod axle. Then we're going to open a Dark Oak Vents gate into the end of each of these two wheels. Then behind the wheels here, we're going to do a three by five of polished deep slate block on the bottom middle. Behind that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, and open a fence gate into each of these two wheels. Then we're gonna go through and put a skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Then we're gonna take a deep slate brick slab and put one on the bottom hip box of each corner like this, and same thing on this side. Then take deep slate brick stair and put one going into each slab and a fence gate in the middle. Repeat it on this side. So a deep slate brick stair going this way here, this way here, and a fence gate in the middle. Then we're going to come behind this truck and we're going to take out deep slate brick slabs on the upper hip box of the bottom layer and right behind these fence gates, we're gonna go five wide and three coming back with it. So a five by three coming out to each side. Then behind that, we'll skip one block back still on this upper hip box and do five deep slate brick slabs. And then five sideways anvils. And you may have to put strings under the anvils to hold them up. Then on the upper hip box again, another row of five deep slate brick slabs right here. Then we'll skip one block back from these slabs and do the next truck. So one block back from this, do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then open a fence gate into each of these wheels in this gap here. And then behind it, do a three by five a polished deep slate block coming back. Behind that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then go through and put a skeleton skull on the side of all four of the wheels. Then a deep slate brick slab on the bottom here and here. And same thing on this side. Then put a deep slate brick stair going into each of the slabs like this. And then put a fence gate on the middle of each side. Then open a fence gate into the ends of these two wheels here. Then go back to deep slate brick slab on the upper hip box right behind these stairs and do a line of five slabs. Then put a string in all the gaps and do five sideways anvils. And then another line of five slabs across the top. Then we'll skip one block back from this, still on the upper hip box, and we'll do a five by three of deep slate brick slabs coming out to each side. Then we do the final truck. So we're gonna skip one block forward from this and do a set of netherite wheels with an N-Rod axle. Then open a fence gate into the ends of these two wheels. Then behind it, we'll do a three by five of polished deep slate block again. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle and open a fence gate into these two wheels. Then put a skeleton skull on the side of all four of these wheels. 
and a deep slate brick slab on each bottom corner. Same thing on this side. Then we'll put a deep slate brick stair going in to each of the slabs like this again. And then a dark oak bed skate on the middle of each side. Finally, come behind these fence gates on the next block back and put a line of five sideways dark oak fence gates coming up the middle. Just like that. Now come on top of this first set of wheels and go three wide with polished black stone block on the top middle. And we're gonna bring it down to this end until we're one block before this last fence gate. So there's one fence gate sticking out, then we're gonna crouch and put a polished deep slate stair on top of that fence gate. Then we'll come behind this and start continuing this second layer, three wide in the middle with polished black stone, and come all the way across the top of this. And just keep it coming here. And then when we get to this middle truck, we're gonna leave a gap on the center of the truck and then go three wide behind the gap. Put a black stone brick slab on this top middle right here. And then behind this, start filling the top three wide with polished black stone block for the second car. And then same as on the other end, we're gonna come down till we're one block before the last fence gate down here. And then we'll turn around and crouch and put a polished deep slate stair on top of this final fence gate. Now take out a red nether brick slab and we're going to come out the second polished black stone block back on the upper hip box and we're going to put one single slab up here and one on this side. And we'll do the same thing at the other end. So on the second polished black stone black, one slab here, one here. Then behind it, we're going to do a full row of black stone brick slabs across the top. And we'll skip this middle gap, then start on the second car, do a full row of black stone brick slabs up here. Then we'll do the other side. So full row of black stone brick slabs on the top of this side. Then skip this middle gap again, and a full row of black stone brick slabs on this second car. Make sure they're all on the upper hitbox here. Just like that. Next, we'll start working on the end here. So we're gonna take out some red concrete. And where these three blocks in the center are, do two rows of three red concrete. Then above it, two rows of three black stained glass block. Then on the side, come off this slab here. And we're gonna do a two by two of red nether brick walls like this. And same thing over here, a two by two of walls here. Then, on top of the back walls, we're gonna put two more walls coming up on each side. Then in these corners, two black stained glass panes here, and two on this side. Then, on this top middle, three red concrete in the center, and a red stained glass pane on either side. Then finally, one more red nether brick wall here, and here. And we're gonna repeat that all at the other end. So come down to this end, two rows of three red concrete on this middle, then on the side a two by two of red nether brick wall on either side. Then up here, two rows of three black stained glass blocks, two black stained glass panes on either side of it, two red nether brick walls behind it on each side. Then on the top, three red concrete in the middle, a red stained glass pane on either side, and a red nether brick wall on the top of each side like that. Then we'll go back to red concrete and we'll come on this bottom outside edge right here and start doing a full line of concrete coming back. We'll skip this middle section between the cars and a full line on the second car. Then do the same thing on this side, a full line of red concrete here. And we gotta skip this middle 
and then a full red of light red concrete on the bottom of this side of this car. Just like that. Now we're gonna come down in this corner next to the red nether brick wall and we're gonna do four red concrete coming back on each side. Then up against the wall here, we're gonna do two rows of three black stained glass panes and two rows of three over here. Behind it, two red concrete on each side. Then behind this, we're gonna put two mangrove doors here and two here. Then we're gonna put two polished black stone blocks above the doors on each side. Then we need to come in and grab a mangrove trap door. And we're gonna close two trap doors on these black stone blocks on each side. Then behind this, on the bottom, we're gonna do a line of 10 red concrete coming back. Same thing over here, 10 red concrete. Then we're gonna put a column of two red concrete on all four corners of this here. Then we skip two and a column of two, skip two and a column of two. Copy that pattern on this side. And then fill in all these gaps with two by twos of black stained glass paint. So you should have three windows on each side that are two by twos. Then behind this, we're gonna do two mangrove doors on either side again. And above the doors, two polished black stone blocks on each side. Then close two mangrove trap doors on the polished black stone on top of each side. Then we'll come behind this, do four red concrete to the back of this front car. Then a column of two in all four of these corners. Then fill these with two by twos of black stained glass paints. Then we'll skip over to the back car and we'll do four red concrete coming forward on each side. Then a column of two in all four corners and fill these with a two by two of black stained glass paints on each side. In front of this, two mangrove doors on each side again. Two polished black stone block above the doors and close mangrove trap doors on the polished black stone blocks on each side. Then in front of this, we do 10 red concrete coming forward on each side. Then we do a column of two red concrete here, skip two and a column of two, skip two and a column of two, skip two and a column of two. Copy that pattern directly across so we have three two block wide windows on both sides. Then go through and fill all these windows with two by twos of black stained glass paint. Then in front of this, another two mangrove doors on either side. Two polished black stone above the doors. We close two trap doors on the polished black stone on each side. And then in front of this, a column of three red concrete on each side, then three across here and here. And finally, we'll do two rows of three black stained glass paints here, and two rows of three here. Then we're gonna come on top of this right here with red concrete and start a line of red concrete all the way down the top. We'll skip this middle gap between the cars, then start here, and another full line of red concrete across the top. Right to here. Then copy it on the other side, so start right here. Full line of red concrete across this. Skip this middle gap between the cars, start right here, and a full line of red concrete across this here. Just like that. Next, we're gonna come down on the end here and we're gonna put a glow item frame on either side of this red concrete. Then we need to get a birch button and put a birch button in between the item frames. Above this on the center, we're gonna do a mangrove sign with 2033. And we're gonna hit that with white dye 
in a glowing sec. Then we're gonna come above the windows here on the top middle and we're gonna do a dark oak sign and type green line. And we're gonna hit that one with orange dye in a glowing sec. Then put a crimson button on either side of that sign. Then we're gonna repeat the whole process at this end. So a crimson button on either side of the top in the middle a dark oak sign with green line. Hit it with orange dye and a glowing sec. Then come under the window on the middle here, a mangrove sign with 2033. Hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Then a glow item frame on either side of the bottom and a birch button in the middle. Then we're going to go back to our mangrove signs here. And we're going to come around the corner on the top. And on this wall, put a sign up here with 2033. Hit that with white dye and a glowing sack. Then do the same thing on this side, a sign here with 2033, and hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Then repeat it for the other cap, so come down here, up on this wall, a sign with 2033, hit it with white dye and a glowing sack, and then same thing on this side. Then we're going to take a warp button out. And we're going to come down here on either side of the door, put a button, and then one on top right here. Do the same thing for the doors on the other side. So a button here and here, one on top here. Then we'll do the other end. A button here and here, one on top here. And we'll also do these doors and do that same process on both of these inner sets of doors. And then get this side as well, so one here and here, one on top here, and then same thing here, one here and here, one on top here. Now take out a mangrove sign and come under this center window here. And we're gonna be right underneath the window, and we're gonna put a sign here with San Diego and a sign next to it with trolley. Then hit those both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then come to the other car and do the same thing. So under the center window, a sign with San Diego, a sign with trolley, and then hit those with white dye and a glowing sack each. Then of course we'll repeat it on the other side. So come under the center window here. Sign with San Diego. Sign with trolley. Hit them with white dye and a glowing sack. And one more go to go. Come under the center window here. And same thing. Sign with San Diego. A sign with trolley. And hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we're gonna come up here, above the windows this time, still with a mangrove sign. And right here, we're gonna put a sign with Metropolitan. Then a sign with Transit. And then a sign with System. Then hit all three of those with white dye and a glowing sack each. Then we'll get the other car. So we'll come up above this window right here, a sign with Metropolitan, then Transit, then System. And hit those with white dye and a glowing sec each. Then we gotta get the other side. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna come up above this window, sign with Metropolitan, sign with transit and a sign with system hit them all with white dye and a glowing sack and one more to go come over on this car put a sign right up here with metropolitan then transit then 
the system. And then hit all of those with white dye and a glow exec each. Then we're gonna take out a crimson trap door here. Then we're gonna come under this window, close one here, and then one under this back window. Then same thing on this car, close one here, and one here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, so come around here. Close one on bottom here, then here, then on the next car here, and then right here. Next, we'll do the interior, so come out inside here. And across where the doors are, we'll put two rows of three netherite. And same thing in front of these doors. Then in this front cab, we're gonna fill this whole bottom three wide with lodestone. Like that. Then we'll do, behind here, a line of netherite down the center, and then down the center to the back of this car. Fill both sides with lodestone. And same thing for this middle section, fill both sides of this with lodestone. And then, start right here, and we're gonna do another right up the center, then two rows of three across the doors, then up the center, two rows of three across these doors. Fill this whole front cab with lodestone, then come back here and fill each side with lodestone. And back here, fill each side with lodestone. On this back middle, put three iron trap doors down here. Then on this outer edge, a column of four polished deep slate walls here. Four on this side. Then on top of the iron trap doors, we're going to do three walls on either side. And across the top, three right here. Actually, I screwed up here. This should only be two rows of three netherite, so I had to change these two back to lodestone to make the floor pattern match up here. Then we're gonna come down to the cab, put three smooth stone slabs here, a lever in the middle, a glow item frame on either side with end crystals. Turn around and put a stair in the middle for the driver's seat. Then right here, we're gonna put a door, then two smooth stone slabs, on either side of the door on bottom. Then we'll do two glass panes above it on each side, and then one across the top of this door here. Then we'll come to the other end and do the other cab the same way. So all the way up here, put three smooth stone slabs, lever in the middle, glow item frame with an end crystal on either side. Turn around and put a stair for a seat, then a door here, two smooth stone slabs on either side, and then come up and over the top of the door with glass panes. Then here and here, a column of three glass panes behind the doors. Then come to these doors, and on all four corners of it, we're gonna do a column of three stained glass panes on either side of the doors. Then repeat it for this door, a column of three here and here. Then get the other side. And finally, a column of three behind each of these front doors. Then we'll take out some black stone brick stairs for seats. One here and here, one here and here. Then in front of this glass, come up each side, every other block with a stair for the seats. Then we'll repeat it for the back car, so turn around, a stair here and here, then here and here. Then in front of these doors, come up each side, every other block with a stair for the seats in this car. And now the interior is complete. Now come up top. Put three red concrete across the top here, and come to the other end and do the same thing, three red concrete here. Then we're gonna switch to gray concrete, and we're gonna fill the whole top middle up here, three wide, with gray concrete, and bring it down to the back of the car to fill in the roof. Then come behind these walls for the second car, and same thing, fill the whole roof of this car, three wide with gray concrete here and bring it down to the other end. Then we're gonna take out a skeleton skull and put one on the center here. Come to this end and one on the center right here. 
Then we're going to take out deep slate brick block. We're going to come above this middle window on the edge of the gray concrete and put two on each side. Then two polished black stone in the middle. Then three here and three here. Then we're going to copy it on this car. So above this middle window, two deep slate brick blocks on either side, two polished black stone in the middle, and three on each end. Then we'll put three polished black stone stairs here going this way, and three going the other way here. Same thing for this one, three here going this way, three here going this way. Then skip two blocks forward from it and put a wither skeleton skull on each side. Then up here, two black stone buttons on either side like this. Repeat it down here, skip two blocks forward, a wither skeleton skull on each side, then two buttons here and two here. Next we'll do the pantographs, so come to the back of the car on top and put a grindstone here and here, skip two forward, one here and here. Do the same thing on this other car. Then we're going to put two iron bars in the very center of each of these. And then we're going to take iron trap doors on the upper hip box and we're just going to go all the way around these iron bars with iron trap doors. And we're going to do the same thing for this other car here. Then this one's going to be down. We're going to take a birch fence gate and open one here, one on this side. Then crouch and put three iron trap doors across the top right here. Then our other one's going to be up, so we're going to come up to this one and we're going to take out iron bars again. And on top of the two iron bars that are already there, we're going to put two more in the center. Then right here, we're going to come up one and forward one. Then here we're going to come up one, back one, then out to each side by one. Then on top of this we're going to put three iron trap doors. Then open a birch fence gate on the side here. In here. Then come in and take out the iron bar on either side so only the middle one's there. And now the pantographs are done. Now we're going to make a banner so come into a loom with a white banner and with red die. We're going to put a horizontal on the top and the bottom and then put a white border on it. And this is for the logo. So we're going to come up here under the windows and we're going to put one banner here. Come to this corner and one banner here. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. So one here. And come to this car and one right here. Then we're going to come back into a loom this time with a yellow banner and red dye. We're going to make the bottom half red. Then we're going to put a gray border on it and a gray horizontal on the center. And these are for the headlights, so we're going to put one on these two item frames and we're going to turn them so that the red is on the inside. And we'll do the same thing at this end, so put one on each of these item frames and turn them so red is on the inside of each one. And there we have it folks, we've completed our San Diego Trolley Siemens SD100. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.